So I just realized that we've been living the biggest lie in Diablo 4 and have been missing out on some of the best bonuses that aren't just better than anything you can get via drops, but actually go way beyond the maximum caps that they have to offer. For the longest time I thought that the best route is to hunt for legendary drops and use the aspects from them, thinking foolishly that the Codex of Power only provides the bare minimum of the minimum bonuses all powers can have. Well, as it turns out, not only is that not true, but for certain legendary aspects, the ones provided by the Codex significantly outperforms anything at least I was able to find on gear drops up until this point. So this whole mechanic only works for a certain type of legendary power, which makes it so well easy to miss out on, and that is on legendary powers that exclusively give you flat number increases, be it damage or defenses. For example, the aspect of the protector, which gives you a flat number increase, in my case we have a 2.8k, or in the case of the Aerostorm aspect, which gives me a 4.2k. It only works with these ones and not the ones providing something like percentage increases, for example. Those are a completely separate topic. So for these ones, if you exclusively rely on just getting the ones from the legendary drops that you get from the gear pieces that you find randomly from defeating enemies, you're going to significantly miss out on the buffs that they can provide. Because as you can see, as you keep leveling up, their ranges stay pretty much exactly the same, such as in the case of the Aspect of the Protector, which is 2.8k, but as I leveled up, that max cap is now almost 6k, so I'm basically losing on a ton of defenses. Or in the case of this other one, you will soon see I am dealing like 3 times less damage than I could, and there's a trick to even exceed that, and it's actually the Codex of Power. And the reason I'm saying that is because unlike all the legendary aspects that you get and extract from gear, these will level up with your character. Not the percentage ones, but the ones providing you flat number increases. So let me give you a quick example, such as in the case of the barrier, I even get a bunch of aspects right here that I even extracted a while ago, I believe the one on the gear was even a blue at some point, and as you can see, these are just like significantly lower than they should be. But if I go with the Codex of Power version, it's basically leveling up with me. And even though it's not at the max with this specific one right now, it's still really great. It's at B tier, I would say, 4.9k out of 5.9. I think that's really good. And it's almost double of what I have on the blue one that I extracted like 10 levels ago. And that is because this does not level up with my character but this does, I just have to reapply it. Now I will show you how absurd it gets once we get, for example, something with damage on it. So let's go with the arrow storm aspect. As you can see, initially when I got this, I was tempted to believe that this is on the higher range of the spectrum because you see, for example, something like 2.7k out of 2.9 and think that is a good one, right? Well, wrong, if we place it on gear, it's still going to be 2 point, well, in this case, it gets a 200% damage increase, it's 5k, but as you can see, the max is actually 12k, which means this is now garbage and I can discard it. If I use something different, which doesn't give it a bonus, it's 2.7k, it doesn't even increase, and it's significantly below even the minimum cap. But watch what happens if I take the same aspect, but instead from the legendary Codex of Power and apply it from over there. In this case, aspect of the Arrow Storm, it's now 7,000. But if we look at the legendary, it's now 14,000 out of 12,000. We literally just exceeded the maximum cap on this specific power by just using the Codex of Power version. And let me tell you this, I've been hunting for a lot of legendaries, I have a lot of them in all my inventories, and I have not seen a single, even like ancestral version of this one to be this high in terms of damage. And by the way, when I got this dagger, the aspect that I applied to it was also ancestral, so blue quality, took me like half a million to extract out of it. 
so no really big problem the problem is that yeah it costs half a million almost to extract but it doesn't level up with your character and if you have the stats activated you will notice progressively that it becomes more and more useless to you as the caps on the maximum possible damage go even higher even the minimum i'm no longer meeting it because it's way below it and in 10 more levels it's going to be even lower just because it doesn't keep up with that and to show you a few more examples, let's say we go with this imbument. This is actually something that you can extract and is ancestral quality 789. And as you can see, it makes my imbument to deal like 1.2k damage out of the possible 2.1k. So no matter what I do, I extract this. That's going to be the flat number that I get. I cannot change it. The only way I can change it is give it like a 200% maybe damage increase or 50% from the amulet. But if the max cap goes to like 5,000 in 5 more levels, it's going to still stay at 1.2k and it's still going to be useless. However, if I pick the same unstable imbument aspect and apply it on whatever piece of gear it is, just the codex of power 1 gives me 1.8k. So that's already within the range of 2.1k and it's going to continue to level up as I also level up and will keep up with the cap increases it's not going to be a tier quality it's still going to be like in b maybe b plus over there but it is going to be better than whatever dropped like five levels ago even from an almost 800 item level well item and this by the way is only for the rogue class there are plenty other classes out there and builds that use other similar aspects which provide flat number increases either be it defenses or offenses. I believe there's also one for the pulverized druids, which cause those earth spikes to come out of the ground. I believe that's also flat number increase. I believe that on my sorcerer, I've seen some ice spike trails leaving behind that also had like just straight up flat damage increases. Well, guess what happens with them in a few more levels, like 5 or 10 levels? Well, they just get completely outclassed because enemies scale up, they have more HP, you have to deal more damage in the millions, but your 750 plus Ancestral that you applied like 10 levels ago, it only deals 2000 damage when the new variants deal like 20,000 damage and you can no longer use that anymore, you need something else. So that's why it's not such a big deal if you discard the ones that you acquired 10 levels ago, assuming that you're way past that level difference, and even more so pay constant attention if you have any better versions in the Codex of Power, since this does indeed keep up with your level, will provide you the latest iterations, maybe they will not be like the max tier, but will still be B tier and probably much better than the ones that you got a long while ago. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and until the next one.